What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKita.com and today we're unboxing the Google Nexus 10 by Samsung. This is Google's flagship Android tablet. It rocks a 10 inch WQ XGA display which translates to a resolution of 2560 by 1600 at 300 pixels per inch. It's also sporting Samsung's own Exynos 5250 chipset, otherwise known as the Exynos 5 Dual. That's a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor by the way. We're also looking at 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 5 megapixel rear camera, 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, NFC, a 9000 milliamp hour battery, and it runs the purest version of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. The 16 gigabyte model costs $400 and the 32 gigabyte model costs $500, both available in the Google Play Store. Now that we've got those details out of the way, let's get to the unboxing. So a rather simple box here. If you turn it over to the side though, you'll see that the bezel here forms the letter N, I guess for Nexus. If you recall, the Nexus 7 box outlined a number 7 for Nexus 7. Not sure if many people realize that uh, Google's doing that with the design of the box, but just a little interesting tidbit. So let's go ahead and slide it out of the sleeve here. All right. Then we got a plain black box. If you zoom in here, you'll see it says Nexus. Let's flip this over. Seems we have some tape here. Cut that off. Oops. Let's try that one more time. All right, there we go. And the box comes right off. So here is the tablet, the Nexus 10. Pretty light in hand, I gotta say. Looks pretty thin as well. Let's put that off to the side for now. See what else is in the box. Alright, so we have our USB 2 micro USB charge and sync cable. So, uh, good news there, you don't have to have a proprietary cable for charging the device. Here is the charging brick that comes with it. There we go. Some manuals. And that looks like that's all we're getting with the Nexus 10. So no extras like earphones or anything like that. All right, let's bring the main attraction back into the frame here. We'll go ahead and pull the plastic off of the front. The back should have some plastic as well. So we'll go with that and that there we go there is the nexus 10 tablet so the back is plastic but it has sort of a, a unique feel to it it feels actually pretty nice let's go ahead and flip that over see how it feels in hand okay so it's sort of a, a tacky finish that allows for some pretty good grip there uh, i like it i'll have to see how that uh, goes over time uh, in hand, it does feel solid. Like I said, it feels like a pretty light tablet, uh, although it does have some heft to it to make it feel like a uh, solid device. Um, it's also very thin, as you can see here. I believe it's thinner than the iPad. All right, so let's start with the top of the device. Up at the top, we have a 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera. Zoom back out, we have a dual front facing speaker, so that's going to be nice because then the sound will come towards you instead of away from you like on some other tablets. Uh, if we flip over, oh, actually, let's speak about the display again. Uh, it is a 10 inch tablet, so it has a 10 inch screen, that's why it's called the Nexus 10, and that has a resolution of 2560 by 1600, so a very high resolution display. Uh, should be very vivid. Uh, hopefully, it uh, looks as good as it sounds so we'll flip over to the bottom down here we actually have our pogo pins for a docking accessory take a look at how thin the device is again flip over to the right side not much here but if you look up towards the top of the device you'll see there's a micro hdmi hdmi out port so you can uh, play your media on a TV on the top zoom over here volume up and down rocker 
as well as our power button. And on the left side of the device, we have our micro USB charge and sync port. Again, that's not a proprietary port, so uh, you have no problems with using your other cables as well to charge the device. That's always nice. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, we have our 5 megapixel rear camera with LED flash. Below that you have the Nexus logo, Samsung logo. Again, the back of the device feels really solid. Uh, it, although it is plastic, it feels nice. I like it. All right, up next we have some size comparison. So let me boot this device up and then we'll see how it compares to some other tablets. So first the obvious one, the Nexus 7 tablet. So this is the baby brother, seven inch screen compared to, I don't want to block the uh, boot up there. It looks like not much. I'm just going to power that back off. So we have the 7 inch screen and the 10 inch screen. So you can see a much, much larger tablet. Doesn't seem like uh, there's a big difference between 10 and 7, but check that out to fit right inside of the screen. Let's also compare how it looks from the side. Believe it or not, the smaller tablet is thicker. If you want to look at what this looks like on the back. Now this has a different finish here. It's more like kind of like a fake leather feel. And again, the Nexus 10 has this uh, tacky sort of plastic feel. Both very nice in my opinion. All right, now let's bring in another tablet. Here is the iPad. So let's actually stack the next 10 right on top. So you can see that uh, there are some differences in dimensions. See how it looks from the side. The Nexus 10 is actually thinner even though it may not look like that. Uh, the Nexus 10 is 8.9 millimeters thick and it weighs 603 grams. It's also uh, lighter by, a, I believe, about 50 grams or so. And lastly, let's go ahead and compare it to the Asus Transformer Prime. Go ahead and stack that up. So pretty similar in uh, size. Of course, the Samsung Nexus 10 has these ultra rounded corners. They probably did that to avoid getting sued uh, by Apple. Now, uh, the Prime is thinner and lighter. All right, now that we're up and fully running, let's take a quick look at the software. I'll start with the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean lock screen. You can see we have a clock here swipe that over, you have a calendar, and then you can add some more options uh, for quick access. Now, if you want to tap on one of these items, you can unlock directly to those apps. Pretty cool. So there was the calendar. Now let's check out general performance out of the box. Just swipe on through, very speedy and fluid. You can also tap the outer edges to transition as well. Now this is before we load up a ton of apps, so uh, it's unclear if it'll uh, stay this fast down the line. Swipe on through it again. Again, this is Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, the vanilla or pure Google experience. So you're not going to have a bunch of bloatware, which is nice. Just your basic apps and widgets. You want to check out the Google Play Store and add some more, of course. Notification window shade is up here. You can see I just got a system update. Let's exit out of that, that. And then we have this new feature, some quick togglers, which is nice. So with Jelly Bean, we have a more seamless experience between tablets and smartphones. Uh, you're pretty much mirroring the same experience with your uh, favorites down here, notification shade up there. You have your back home and task switcher buttons right over there.
Speaking of, let's pull that up and swipe on through to close out of apps. You can also access Google Now by swiping up. And here are some sample cards you may receive throughout the day. Back out of there. Load up YouTube. Now this is the new app that's optimized for 10-inch tablets. Let's fast forward. Maximize. Pretty nice. Pull up Chrome. Here we have smartktai.com. to zoom everything looks like it's performing pretty well so this was the unboxing video for the Google Nexus 10 tablet by Samsung if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already as usual thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coverage on this device and others